Avocado, the leading data and social platform for decentralized finance. Hey everybody, in this video of Proof of Make, we take a look at the Avocado Terminal. The Avocado Terminal is an all-in-one data solution where you can use neural networks and backtesting to develop trade strategies as well as watch TV, keep up with the latest news. It has a bunch of powerful commands like viewing satellites or maps. It has an OTC platform for institutional traders, a social network for negotiating deals, the analyst reports that give you an outlook and an idea of what's happening in the market. Use advanced charting tools and your favorite indicators on top of charts get multiple charts at the same time as well as like a concierge service for the premium users. Disclaimer, ProofSuite is the maker of Avocado Terminal. So this is one of the videos where we'll be talking about one of our own products. So in this video, I'll be sitting down with our CTO, Ty, to take a look at the Avocado Terminal. All right, so now we're gonna sit down with our CTO, Ty, and take a look at Avocado Terminal. All right, Ty, so I mean, you're, you're the CTO and architect behind this. Um, so this will be one of our first proof of makes. We're actually taking a look at a product that is by ProofSuite. I've actually never heard of this thing. You've never heard of this? Never, never heard of it. Okay. I don't know what it is. All right, you plead not guilty. I plead not guilty. All right. Well, one of the first things I love uh, most about the Avocado Terminal is like the, the live updates up here. Um, they kind of just update on the flight. I, I like that I can keep this up all day. In fact, we do have a bunch of Avocado screens that we keep up here in the offices and um, just being able to keep up with the, the live news feed up here that's a mix between just general macro economic data as well as crypto news um, right. is, is really is really useful. And then, you know, the live updates, like keeping up with the markets and the fact that it just has, you know, all the exchanges that are major that you can kind of see what are happening in real time. So I like that I can kind of switch between and it's wicked fast. I mean, so what I really like is that, you know, it has indexes, you know, commodities, um, you know, equities, etc. Uh, even though the, obviously the major focus is on cryptos, these kind of stay updated constantly is very useful. And I think, you know, this is really useful for me. You know, I can kind of sit here and, you know, watch TV and keep up, you know, with the latest news. Switch between channels, though, they're kind of going to commercial right now. So. How they're spending the money. Between 1998 and 2015, there were $21 trillion. All right, I don't want scandal right now. Let's, let's go to India. This biopic is one of the right. most so like, you know, I really like this. You, I'm looking at crypto prices, but I can even do three at once and then kind of kind of just watch a bunch of news channels while analyzing crypto prices. Um, and just looking at the macro um, is something I, I find incredibly useful. And uh, additionally, just the ability to kind of uh, go in and switch into kind of correlations, which is one of my, as you know, one of my big things, right? right. And, and see, you know, how markets are correlated on the daily, uh, it's a very clear date there. On the weekly, I can kind of see, you know, what, what's really happening in the market. Because, you know, cryptos are all kind of correlated with one another. Yeah, for that long-term kind of view on what's been happening. What's been happening, yeah. And then obviously, yeah, being able to switch between different periods on charts. I mean, this is pretty much standard stuff you can get anywhere. But um, just the ease of use and being able to add, you know, different indicators, RSI being, you know, a popular one. And, you know, kind of just being able to, you know, expand that out easily, et cetera. Um, and then, of course, there's the analysis. This used to be actually hand done, but the fact that it's kind of automated now, um, and then you can kind of switch between the different time periods on different days. So I can actually see what was happening on Monday, right? Right. Um, yeah. And then what's happening now. And see today how it's changed over time. And see how it's changed, yeah. Um, and also be able to see, you know, the upcoming token sales, uh, et cetera, that are happening. So, you know, here's, you know, upcoming ones here's you know ones that are kind of happening now that are about to end so that that's very useful um and then obviously the commands so i like you know being able to i like the new i use this one a lot world clock and just being able to kind of see okay everywhere else in the world we're in korea but kind of be able to keep up and also i really like the crypto regulation command where i can just kind of type in any country like you know canada and uh you know get what's the kind of the crypto regulations that's happening in this country. So I also really like, you know, the commands, you know, we, we did this in a recent YouTube video right. where it's like satellites, but you know, this is kind of, you know, a little geeky and stuff, but just the fact that you can kind of look at every satellite that's kind of spinning around in space. Like here's all SpaceX satellites and here's where they are in space at the moment. I just, I find this just fun. Um, but I think that's kind of like the direction that Avocado is going, which is kind of 
ha warehousing a lot of data that's just useful, data, yeah. um, including just you know regular maps. So kind of you know having commands for maps um, and just yeah. So, so you can you have know, like a Meridian article that says, "Hey, like this is happening here." I can go, "Okay, let's let's find out where this place even is." Uh, let's say yeah, and where um, it is, this is what's some happening. city. Or something. But I really, obviously, obviously, there's the neural command. And uh, this is one that I, I obviously, I helped work on. So, you know, I'm a little partial. Um, and, you know, the UI is very sparse, but, you know, being able to kind of take in, you know, a file like this. We did a, a recent YouTube video about this, but, you know, I have a lot of market data here with a lot of different, you know, indicators, a lot of data. Being able to kind of just import that in and then being able to train, bot train bots based on things. Like yeah, I see you have like MACD in there so you can actually train on indicators as well if the data set allows it. So we have another YouTube video on how to do that, but kind of say, hey, you know, if we have basis and it's sitting at, you know, 10, um, and I can click, you know, get output, I can get an idea that, okay, if that's at 10, 98 is a buy based on that training. So. You know, the tools like this, and, and I think there's more, you know, obviously custom tools coming. Right. Um, but the ability to kind of, you know, just kind of play with charts, do back, you know, uh, back testing on them with, you know, all of uh, this stuff is, I, I think, you know, highly useful. And then, okay, news here, um, you have your regular sentiment over here to kind of, you know, you can type in anything like, you know, I could type in, you know, Donald Trump and kind of just being able to get kind of what's happening in regards to him on Twitter and whatever, not that, you know, anyone should be looking that up, uh, but, uh, and then obviously being able to, you know, coordinate and you know, Apollo Capital, a great company, um, being able to kind of connect directly with people who are, you know, leading platform, in these companies, right. you know, on the platform and, and, and use the OTC platform to do deals. And, uh, you know, for the really, for the, you know, the pro accounts, which I have obviously, you know, being able to contact support 24 seven and, uh, you know, kind of uses my own personal concierge service is pretty awesome, not to mention notes. I mean, so of course this is, this is a bias. Um, <laughs> definitely, uh, I think a little, a little bit, a little bit. Um, there are definitely improvements that we're looking to be making um, going forward as well. This is not the final, final rendition of this, and it never will. But we're we're going to evolve this as the crypto market evolves and make this kind of a gateway for not just how crypto is moving, but how crypto is entering other areas. Which is why we're so interested in putting um, equities and commodities and indexes in there. Um, and just trying to find ways that are, how is crypto interacting with the greater market? How is crypto interacting with these other industries? And then giving people the ability to not just look at it, but then also get involved with things like commands like neural and commands that we also, there's a Williams R and a Fisher mm -hmm. um, a back tester in there as well. Um, and being able to take all these data sets and put them together and be able to move them back and forth and workshop them, as well as having kind of a very accessible social platform to then discuss and share these insights um, and then, you know, trade down the line as well if they build those relationships up. Yeah, I mean, well, you can do that now, obviously, with the OTC. And one of the things I also like is, um, and, you know, I was a part of helping build this too, but the crypto compare. So being able to kind of load this up and, you know, compare all different cryptocurrencies, like, directly between each other. So I can say, okay, here's Bitcoin and Ethereum, but what about Cardano, right? And then be able to see, here's Bitcoin, Cardano, and, and you know, over different periods. So this daily, but what about hourly? What, what's that looking like? Right, so yeah. I think this is really, really useful as well um, and kind of being able to kind of see what those relationships look like between yeah. these things. And, you know, and then kind of being able to then break down the markets and then get the news on a particular, you know, cryptocurrency and, and, and things. So so this is Avocado. And, oh, Jacob Smith just sent me a message. So, I mean, so obviously you have the, the chat in here that's also, you know, highly useful, et, et cetera. So that's a look at the avocado terminal. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they uh, these guys come up with next. I'm also curious to see what we slash they come up with. Yeah.